Have you ever wondered what worms crossed with Smash Bros with music reminiscent of the 90s Power Rangers TV show would look like? Well, wonder no more because I am here to introduce you to a fast-paced four-player platform shooter featuring warring marshmallows or warshmallows. It is the debut game from developer You Run Limited and published by Bonus Stage Publishing. Battle against your friends or online using your marshmallow of choice. If I say this enough times, I'll get it right eventually. Jump, fly and teleport across the screen as you obliterate your friends, shooting them and encasing them in bubbles and some kind of rock. The game isn't entirely over once you're encased though. You can still take another player out by knocking them off the platform. The other players aren't all you need to watch out for though. As the round progresses, you're presented with additional obstacles from the environment, such as giant eggs and molten rock falling from the sky. Because why not? This is all relatively standard so far to this particular genre, but Walshmallows has an additional mechanic to make it stand out from the crowd. Bullet time. This gives you a nail-biting opportunity to dodge the onslaught being brought down upon you, or in my case, see my fate played out in super slow motion. This makes for added hilarity with friends and draws your focus in an otherwise chaotic game. We have a few game modes to choose from too. You can jump straight into an online game against strangers from around the world, team up in 2v2 with friends, or go all out carnage against three of your friends online. The game also includes couch co-op, which is a welcome addition and something I don't really see that much of nowadays. It's a great idea for families to be able to enjoy the game together. The game also features Steam Remote Play, which we tried out but we found that the game is either best played online with friends or via couch co-op. The issue with Remote Play is that you're essentially streaming, making you at the mercy of the internet connection, and we all know what that's like. In addition, this Steam feature only seems to work with controllers that are connected to the host computer too. I would like to emphasise though that this is a feature of Steam and not by design of the game. As you progress up the levels you'll also unlock outfits, weapons and bullets, as well as building up in-game currency. The presence of in-game currency though is not indicative of the old play to win issue though. It is merely for cosmetic purposes such as additional player skins. You'll also be able to unlock additional levels which are voted on at the beginning of each game. Each is unique in its design as well as the environmental obstacles that are thrown at you. We had to go at two of the levels so be sure to check them out in our first look gameplay video. I chose to play with a controller while Golding and Toaster chose to use keyboard and mouse. I found the movement and general control such as jumping and flying to be easy but aiming at the same time as moving required some concentration. You'll need to use the left thumbstick to move at the same time as the right thumbstick to aim. I found that those using the keyboard and mouse did have an advantage over me as it was much easier for them to aim whilst moving. At least that's the excuse that I'm using for my poor performance. General performance of the game seemed to be good and I maintained a high and consistent frame rate throughout. Upon opening the game you're met with the most memorable of theme songs which will be stuck in your head for days and haunting you as you try to sleep. The music throughout the whole game is a highlight for me and paired with a colourful and quirky art style it makes for a fun and chaotic gaming experience. I did find at times though I would actually lose where my marshmallow was as there's just so much going on and sometimes they seem to blend in with the background a little bit. Although I have heard that this is something the developer is actively working on at the moment. I do also find it a little hard to work out where I am at the beginning of each round. But these are relatively minor gripes though and this game is a strong debut from You Run Limited. I would definitely recommend trying it out with friends as this is where I feel the game's strength lies. Let us know what you think in the comments and I'll post a link to the game in the description. Be sure to check out our gameplay video too with more on the way. Thanks for watching.